Hey, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, uh, you've done something interesting, something that hasn't been done in a while. You've just stumbled on another first impression. I'm Corey Pratt, and this is Craven Cars. I'm here with probably one of the more unique first impressions that I want to do, and it's right behind me, right here. And if you recognize what's on there, it's from this gentleman right here. Come on over, Will. Will from Will's Wheels. You know, known you for a little while now, ever since the whole YouTube thing going. And uh, I think this is the first time I've done a first impression on any of your vehicles. And it's a it, golf cart. It will be. It's a cool golf cart, though. <laughs> and it's a very cool golf cart. And that's why we're going we're, we're gonna to do a quick little first impression. He's going to tell us all about it and take us for a little drive. So let's go. All right. All right. Uh, first impression, of course, inside this bad boy. Boy, these are some comfortable seats. They are. I oh, love my the goodness. stitching in them, too. Oh, this is fantastic. So tell us about this. What, what, what are we in? What is it? What's in it? And what are the stats? This is a 2022 club car. It's called an Onward Special Edition. It's a limited paint color. It's got a uh, one inch lift kit on it. It has a 429cc color engine with an overhead valve and electronic fuel injection. It's making about 13 horsepower. It goes 19 miles an hour and it's zero to 60 time is uh, doesn't get there. Zero to 60 in whatever cliff you can find. That's, <laughs> that's, that's tall enough that it'll reach 60 before it lands. No, that's I don't it. know. <laughs> Zero to 60 is NA'd because it's so fast, it's hard to measure. Well, it will That's goes, what it is. It will go zero to 60 as long as it's on, on the back of the trailer when it's, I'm pulling it down the road. Zero to 60 depends on what's pulling it, right? That's right. <laughs> so, but you're pulling this, you got a nice little trailer here, and you're pulling it with what? I'm pulling with an Alfa Romeo Stelvio. Stelvio. And how's it do? It does great. It does great? Okay. It, but I do, you know, without the trailer, I get about 25 to 20 miles a gallon. When I'm pulling it, I get about 18. There you go. Okay. Now this isn't your first Alpha though. I know we're kind of switching off. I know this is the first impression of this cart, but we've never really got to do anything with his Alphas. You've had a Julia I did. before, and now you have the Silvio. I did. And you love them both, right? I do. Alphas are a great product. I don't know why more people don't. Uh, I think they're they're, they're, they're a better product than they ever have been. They really at are this, at this moment now. And I just love all of them, even from back in the old classics. Regardless of what's been said as far as reliability behind them, they don't seem to be that iffy nowadays. They seem to be pretty solid vehicles. They are. They really are. I have had a couple of electrical Grimmins with the uh, 2017 I had, but it was the first year model that came out. But well, the, first 2020, years are, had, yeah. Yeah. the 2020, I've had zero problems. The problems. Well, there you go. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's take a quick drive in this bad boy. All right. Hang on. Oh! <laughs> so did they give this thing a torque rating at all? I do not know the torque. Ah, that's electric. It's probably uh, unlimited. Actually, it's gas. I'm sorry, this gas. But it probably oh, depends oh. on how fast I put my right foot it's down. It's semi-unlimited. <laughs> now, you said you had a one-inch lift kit on this. What other kind of cool, uh, like, things, uh, uh, um, stuff do you got on here? I mean, we obviously have open AC. <laughs> you know, they oh. do make ACs for these things. They're swamp coolers. Actual? Yeah. Wow. They, they cut a hole in the top and put it up there. I'm Interesting. I'm not going to go that route, but they do I, make, make... I noticed easy. you do have like a, a windshield, that, an actual windshield, and it actually folds up and down. Folds up and down. Which is very cool. Um, the back, same thing. So you can fit, this is not just a two-seater. You've got a uh, seat back there, and then that folds up. Correct? Yeah. It's got a uh, cooler in it right here. Oh! Oh! I don't have any cold drinks and I keep my uh, oh, camera okay. equipment in there. Oh, well, that's... But this does fold up. To a seat. Got a grab handle back here. It's real nice. That's too cool. Nice little grab handle right up top. Um, so the purpose of this, it was really you go to so many car shows that really it was just a matter of getting around shows better, more efficiently, getting uh, filming them and just doing this better than you did before. Yeah, it's actually kind of for my health and safety too. I got in, uh, I got in some trouble at a car show two years ago. I uh, stopped sweating and Next thing I knew, I was in my car, and I don't remember how I got there. And I'm like, you know, I don't stay as hydrated as I should at these shows, especially the big ones. So I bought I, I the golf cart just for my health benefits. I can relate. Um, and actually, if any of you guys watch this and you do do car shows or you're doing any kind of activities with these kind of heat, uh, especially like it is here in the Midwest at times, hey, hydration is the one thing. And, and it's not even just water. Like, mix it up. Get a little bit of Gatorade. Uh, get a little bit of additive for your water, whatever it is that helps your body absorb it more because I'm the same way. I've done it where, where one time I was getting dizzy and this was, uh, 
uh, probably not even two years ago, really. It, it yeah. might have been that you know, a year, year and a half. And it was one of those, I'm out and I'm so stuck in filming and I'm so stuck in doing what I do that I just forgot. I literally mm -hmm. forgot to drink. And next thing I was like, oh my God, I'm getting so thirsty. And I was stumbling getting back to my vehicle and I just had to sit down for a while. Yeah. And so... Not saying I've run into that since. You just got to be cautious. But I mean, yeah, this is this is a fantastic uh, little investment you got here, Will. It's great. We've headed out all weekend, and I think I've done one, two, three. F I've done four car shows this weekend. How big is a gas tank? Six gallon. Six gallon. What does that get you? How long does that last you? Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I I've had the golf cart for a month, and I'm still in three quarters of a tank. <laughs> so it's even all weekend. Mileage, yeah. So even on weekend, you haven't had to put any more gas in this. No, time. and we even drive it around our neighborhood too. Do you have like a golf cart community in your neighborhood? No, not really. But, you know, I, I fixed up my garage and now the neighbors are fixing up their garage. You know, and I bought a golf cart and I'm kind of expecting people to start buying golf carts I, too. I kind of hope you do. You know, the funny <laughs> thing is, is I used to live in the city of Greenwood. Okay. Which is kind of south of uh, Lee Summit area. If anybody's in Missouri, Kansas City area, you, you know where that's at. But, um, but either way, um, they actually have a club of golf carts. Oh, a, that's a cool. A golf cart club. That, that's throughout the neighborhoods, and they made them street legal. They actually went to uh, the city of Greenwood, and they all have to now they have to register them uh, for what they are, and they're only allowed to go on the uh, like 25 mile an hour or less zone areas in the street. But they made them street legal. If you ride them at night, they're made to they're, they go well, if they don't have lights, you have to modify them with lights. So they, they 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 put the safety thing reasons in there, and they're not allowed on the main roads where they're like let's say a 40 mile an hour zone or something like that. They're not allowed there unless it's just crossing the street. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. But they actually literally made them street legal as long as you um, register them with the uh, the city hall, and they uh, they just they just, they just did a thing. And now they have a little club and they all get together and, and drive around. That and they cool. meet up at the local little. There's one little gas station in town, and they all take up one little corner, like on the weekends, and there'd just be like 15 golf carts. In yeah, there. I went to a car show one time, and they had a category for golf carts. Golf carts. There, there were like go. 10 golf carts there. This cool. one, this one is also street legal. Got a horn. He's got a lights. horn. It's even got daytime running lights. You got daytime running lights. You got turn signals. Lines. Turn signals. Oh my goodness gracious! So this would qualify. Yes. If you lived in Greenwood, now you got to move to Greenwood. I'm hoping Kansas City will soon make them legal. Um, cause that's, so that's the city limit you live in, is this Kansas City? Okay. So I wonder how you'd have to do that to make it, you think it'd be fine going to your neighborhood anyways, right? Yeah, it's you, fine. You don't think the police would give you any problem? No, I've got tons of neighbors that are police officers. And <laughs> they actually want me to take them for a ride. Well, there you go. Well, well, thank you. This is, this is awesome. Um, let's, uh, let's do a final wrap up and, uh, on this first impression. All right. Will! That thing is really cool. It is. It's, I like it. Yeah, thank you for your time uh, with it and letting us, kind of, or let me or whatever it is, take a look at it and, and, uh, and see what this little club car is all about. It's like the same color as my van. It was, so I imagine he's probably going to gift it to me this Christmas <laughs> so I can also have a cart and I'll buy his wagon from him for 50 grand. Uh, that was too no. expensive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, thanks again. Appreciate it. And thank you to all of you. Like, share, and subscribe, and uh, comment to, I don't know, you want to see some more first impressions? You like these kind of things? Let me know down below. And to remember all you cravers out there, keep craving. That's it.